Hi, how are you doing today? Thank you so much. My name is Timothy Profitable. Now, today I just want to talk to you about uh, the, the signs for you to know you are spiritually gifted. And this will be for people who call everybody blogger they see in YouTube. We are not bloggers. We may do something similar to blogging, but we may not. Even some other bloggers I can see, I can tell you, they are very, very spiritual. They handle apologetics. And I can tell you those apologetics are still biblical. And those people who handle uh, correctional factors, also they can be part of um, a, a calling in their way. But this day I just want to talk about the signs, five of them, that shows you are spiritually gifted. Many of the people don't even know. Number one, a vision of a past and present events. If you start picturing, you see like this is a repetition of something that had happened before. And you think like, where did I see this? Where did I get this? And if you picture the pictorial image that comes through what you see, even on the streets, this one happens to so many people every time, every now and then in the road, Sometimes you are in church or you are in a place or in a busy shopping area and you, you, you find a, a, a slip flip picture passing through your eyes. Pam, pam. And then you are like, what did I see? You are spiritually gifted for that is happening as a playback. Number two, the sixth cent. There are people who are gifted in discernment. They really can discern things. So as much as you are gifted in discernment, you are detecting problems or something before it happens. I mean, when a problem happens, you are like, I had seen it before. I was almost trying to sort it out. You are spiritually gifted, my brother and my sister. Number three, if you can wake up from a dream in the middle of the night and continue with the dream after you have gone back to sleep after waking up you have gone back to sleep you continue with the same dream you had dreamt earlier before you woke up and it continues as if it's a sequence of a movie or a storytelling session as you continue you are a prophet my brother or you can be a dream interpreter at the same time just take attention of this one now number four if you you feel very hot when you see someone in a deep problem, when you see somebody with a problem, any other place, and you feel very much hurt, in that area you are hurt, you are most likely called in that place. Take very, very keen look and find your area of calling. Number five, the power of 3 to 5 a.m. If you don't struggle to wake up by 3 a.m., or even 12, starting from 12 a.m., moving through to 5 a.m. in the morning. That, those are very, very sensitive prayer days, prayer hours. The spirit is very, very strong. Your spirit can work very high. And when you wake up every time at those moments and you keep praying, you see breakthroughs also happening in you. Now, if you don't struggle to wake up those hours there is a very high chance you are spiritually gifted and you are gifted in a very very high level make use of those hours prophets don't sleep every anyhow because those are the hours prophets wake up god sometimes when they want to speak by night they speak to prophets by those hours or if they want to show you something there are people who have known their destiny those hours when they wake up and they start praying god show me my life show me the business i need to do show me what i need to 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 get into to change my life 